The good news is there's more to family boxing than immediately meets the eye. The bad news is the game is pretty terrible and in ways that aren't immediately obvious. Family boxing is a game that made me ask, why am I doing this to myself? Family boxing is actually a Data East game. In the arcades, it was called King of Boxer, which is a terrible name, but the title is actually in English as that. And as an arcade game, it's one that nobody really noticed. But Namco was ramping up their family series of games, and I guess they decided a boxing game was perfect for them. Let's get the interesting thing out of the way first. The concept in family boxing is that you make your own boxer, assign them stats, and then play through their career. The boxer actually carries across to all three modes, so it's best to start with training. You can enter your name, and once you're past that, you enter your stats. You have nine points at first to assign. Pressing up on the pad assigns a point to punch, left assigns a point to speed, right assigns a point to stamina. Pressing down resets all of your points. It's an absolutely terrible interface, and terrible interface is something that's going to be consistent here. Now you might notice that even in the first match, your opponent has more stat points than you. There's no basic boxer for you to beat up to learn the ropes. Family boxing hurls you into the deep end. In the ring, pressing A punches and B defends. You and your opponent can face off in the cardinal directions from each other, and if you press something perpendicular to that, you'll circle around to that side. Punching and missing eats up your stamina, and naturally so does getting hit. If you're knocked down, you can rapidly press A and B to recover some stamina. Getting up is solely determined by how much stamina you have left. Here, I'm not touching anything, and I'm getting up anyways. If you survive a round, you can also tap the A and B button to recover stamina. But you'll also notice that your opponent recovers a lot more stamina than you do. There's one more trick in boxing. You can press toward the opponent and hit A to do a lunging punch at them. In some situations, this will put the two of you into a grapple. And you just struggle for a few moments until you break up. A problem with punching is that if you're too close, the punch just doesn't register. Because getting in close is something you'd never want to do in boxing, right? The stats should be straightforward enough. Points in punch make you hit harder. Points in stamina make you last longer. Points in speed get you around the ring easier. The thing is, I couldn't tell a difference. Okay, I could see a little bit of a difference in speed, but nothing with punching or stamina. And the major reason for that is that the computer cheats like crazy. After you lose a few fights, the game starts giving you weaker opponents, and when that happens, you can directly compare your ability performance to theirs. And they always vastly outclass you. Here's an opponent with zero stamina. If I make them miss for a bit, that should wear them out quickly. And when I hit them, it should be reflected with much greater damage. Nope. Both their whiffs and my punches barely tap their stamina bar at all. In fact, there really isn't much difference between how this character performs and somebody with higher stamina. Similarly, the computer's punches are always far more effective than yours. I can connect with nearly the same number of punches, and the computer's stamina meter is barely dented while mine is almost completely drained. One of the greatest challenges in coding AI is making it so that the game feels like it's fair. And Family Boxing makes it very apparent that the game is not fair. It's heavily rigged against you. And the actual play mechanics don't help here. There's no wind-up on punches or any tells, which means that you have to block before the computer throws a punch with no way of knowing that the punch is coming. The computer can also do combos that you can't, can block any attempt for follow-up punches from you, and basically responds instantaneously to anything that you do. In the roughly 20 matches I played, I knocked down the computer opponent zero times. I never even came close. And when you reach that point, you go, why am I even playing this? The other two modes from the main menu 
are to let you play any particular opponent. You're shown a list of world rankings, and you can just pick out someone to play against. The other option is for a boxing tournament where you progress through rounds. In both of these cases, you're not going to have any chance unless you've built up your character a bit first. You use the password that you get after every match to keep track of your career, and entering that lets you carry them over between modes. I read that family boxing becomes trivial if you use a rapid-fire controller, so I broke out the Hudson Joy card, and it doesn't support auxiliary controllers at all. Family Boxing just ignores any input from the auxiliary port. Family Boxing is one of those games that got a special gold prize cartridge. You had to compete in a national tournament where the finals were held at the still pretty new Tokyo Disneyland. Naturally, very few of the carts exist, and they command a high premium, even if they do contain Family Boxing. I've played plenty of other bad games so far in this project, but Family Boxing really stung. Playing it is a slog. You have to struggle with it every step of the way, and even if you do, it's not like there's a good game behind it all. Still, it's the best boxing game on the Famicom. Well, for the next five months at least. <laughs>